So this is the Hobson 501C. And uh, yeah, toy, toy grade controller. Uh, I, I will admit I did fly it out of line of sight and use telemetry to push it as far as I could go. Uh, and I'm doing time, see what kind of time I'm looking at and my throttle response. Light wind, not too much wind, there's some wind. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pushing it along and, you know, this ain't that interesting of a flight. All I'm trying to do is cross the river with a toy. But uh, yeah, so, you know, I'm trying to get, get other, other aircrafts up so I can go even further with no uh, issues. But right now, safe travel over wood or not, not any boats or anything to really mention. So I'm kind of able to fly pretty well, you know. Things pretty nice though. You know, I'm having a good time with it. You know, it's it's fun to be able to fly far, but uh, I, I estimated about a thousand feet, it it completely disappears, and I I need to go about a mile to get across this river. So you need like five thousand feet, at least at least three thousand feet to get to the I think from shore to shore it might be further I'm not sure I won't know until I do it but uh I got that to that 900 meter mark didn't look like it looked like I needed to go about another thousand feet so close close to a mile across with a toy ain't bad it's pretty sweet man out here though this river is beautiful man could really uh you can really see how clear it is not with this one particular but when you uh when you use like uh solo and stuff like that and you point that gimbal down you can see how clear it is man Yeah, so yeah, this is pretty close. I mean, uh, right here, I'm not sure if it did its own RTH. Again, I can't see it. And it doesn't look like the controller tells me when it does go into RTH. It's really flopping around here, but, you know, I, I don't see what it's doing. That's a turnaround. I didn't turn it around. You know, so I don't think it turns around to do R RTH either, so... Who knows? I didn't hit the controller. I pretty much had it steady, so I didn't hit RTH on my own yet either. So soon I will. 
soon I'll hit RTH, it, 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 you'll see what it does. Maybe it does turn around, because maybe I'm mistaken. So, we'll see. I hope you guys enjoy some of these flights. I know this isn't really for everyone. This is, these are test flights. I'm trying to do the timing and get a feel for, you know, using telemetry to fly. And it's a toy, so it, it's, it's a non-registered machine. So, uh, I feel that it's safe. Oh, sorry, a little, little catastrophe there. I feel that it's safe, man. You know, so you know, these are amateur footage. This isn't really about footage. Soon, uh, you know, I've been taking some classes, and uh, I'll try to do so. I'll try to do like real videos soon, and uh, you know, it, it'll still be amateur, but uh, they'll they won't just be test flights and stuff like you guys are saying. I did a couple, but. I'll have to, uh, it'll be, there'll be a big difference. I hope to have a YouTube rep by, uh, you know, by the end of the summer, but hopefully sooner. So once, once, once I'm at that point, then, uh, my content will change drastically. It's going to make, uh, an intro and stuff like that. But yeah, this, this is, this is not, the videos I put up are just, you know, it's actually just to take up space and use as a storage. YouTube's really good, and they've been helping me. And I slowed down. I didn't just start exclusively using as a storage. Now I'm purposely trying to do videos. So you see that man? Look at that beautiful river, man. Yeah, yeah. I really enjoy flying over water, man. Just gives you like some safety. You know, you could really really become safe. over there in Jersey it looks like a giant septic hill like it's a, it's like a quarter mile long I don't know what it is I don't know if they dumped into it but uh, yeah it's fenced off so it's a safe place to fly into when I do fly in there ah oh, man there we are man there we are at some Day or they were going to north of where I'm standing right there. You see me standing right there. North of this was going to be the base of another bridge. Or they're going to decommission the Taconi and build one here. I'm not sure if they were going to build one here and they built the Taconi or they're going to build one in the future and shut the Taconi down, perhaps. Uh, you know, it's been there forever. But uh, yeah, there's a there's a base for a bridge there. And that piece of land I'm showing you over there is looks like a base of another bridge. But, you know, I don't know if they were going to or now, you know, there's a lot of money being poured into the park part. Penny Pack, this is Penny Pack Parks, but, you know, they can do whatever they want. But, yeah, straight across, it's dead, up here, up here, where them, you see some trees real quick. But, yeah, so there's a, there's a, a thing to make a bridge up there. Uh, that would be horrible. It will be horrible. The Tack Honey Bridge, Palmar Bridge is great to be able to go into Jersey right here and everything. It's horrible. It's a horrible structure over the river. It really is. Um, you know, to have another one so close would really, you know, it's kind of like building the L. 
you know, it gets, it just changes everything around it, the energy and uh, it blocks all kind of stuff. It's just, it's just weird. You know, Tacconi's like that too. When you get under the Tacconi, if you walk under the Tacconi, guys, you guys will know what I'm talking about. Even playing next to it, that, playing music down there next to the Tacconi, it's just, it, it, it's just weird. It's a weird place. Playing music down here was weird too. The spot, like, so we played right there along that fence. We're probably going to play there again. Uh, if I can get them guys out of that spot, it's the worst possible spot in the whole entire place to have live music. It doesn't get any worse. And the time of year they're going to do it, we're going to be in the mud again. Um, and if they could, man, if they could not have alcohol, uh, we'd be able to drive up to this. If they're going to have alcohol, I say have the bands all the way up at the front so, to, so you know, the people can just, you know, it's not that crazy walk. That's why nobody could come. They, they, most people couldn't walk that far, you know, and in that heat. So this is where it goes down now, right along here. But that's, you know, I didn't know what to tell them. They set it up there, but that's not where to have music, man. It's definitely, the, I couldn't believe they put it there. Out of all the places in there, they put it like just in a, a, a a place where all the moisture in the whole entire place runs through. I was like, wow. You know, not that it mattered. It got to be like, you know, 100 degrees or whatever. But anyhow, I'm rambling. God bless everybody.